Oisha. A stranger by the fireside introduces themselves as Lahore, the famous fabulist. If I had any doubts that I would recognize the fabled Lahore, they vanished at the sight of her mask. The face turns. You're looking for me, aren't you? Tommy Priest, who it is looking for you. The climbing is almost like Twilight Princess. Another game that's on the bucket list. I tell Lahore that I'm here on behalf of the Atomic Priesthood. I see then, Gladi, you've come here to carry me away, to end my walk, to make me talk about how I've gone astray. I'm not sure what to say next, and certainly not in rhyme, so I give a sort of playful shrug. The horse shakes her head and looks to the skies, her mask shifting away. I know why the priesthood wants me. Truth be told, I miss them as well. I think you'll like it. I wait for the next verse, but apparently this is just talking. What do you do for them? I'm a wandering fabulist. The poet's life my choice. The priests ask me to spread safety and give their knowledge voice. Size. Good rhymes. Nice. I tell the whole I like her rhymes. She thanks me with a little bow. The priests give me a good life. I spread their word. They treat me like a queen, but there's still something wrong. I'm at an impasse. I ask what kind and she doesn't answer. What is your name? I tell her it's Abel. Abel, as a glider, you might have a particular insight into what I am seeking. But what I desire is to choose a path. You are very much on the same journey. Do you think you could help me? I tell her yes, but it's absolutely a secret, maybe, bordering on a doubtful. The Atomic Priesthood, however strange and severe, have given me a very comfortable life. I speak their truth, I spread their word, and... Well, frankly, I stop them being so bloody boring all the time. She crosses her arms. For that, they treat me wonderfully. I get anything I want, so long as I use my gifts to convey their message. Sounds stifling. It does. It does, it does, it does. But it also means that I get to live a charmed life, and certainly more charmed than most who make their living telling stories and singing songs. It's wonderful, really. So now I wonder, should I return to Ecria? Hmm. No. The whore dismisses me again. No, 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 it isn't that easy, Sable, don't you see? I've spent these weeks wandering the vastness of the desert, travelling through towns and encampments, through ruins and wonders, asking myself questions. And I've narrowed it down to the three most significant questions, for which I have no answers. Perhaps you can help me. I tell you, yes. sure, of course, please. Thank you, you have a glider's wisdom. The whore draws me closer and I look deep into the eyes of her mask. Sable, Glider, what is the value of art? Is it spreading truth or is it spreading joy? It's quite a start. I tell her that the value of art is joy. I tell her it's joy and she nods vigorously. If all we get is just one life, to live a little while, then it would seem a noble dream to give the world a smile. 
Fascinating sable. Really helpful. Was it? Next question. When you are faced with a challenge, how do you approach it? Do you value caution or safety? Well, what I am definitely not going to say is that I thought they were much the same thing. Instead, you're challenged. Caution or safety? Challenge. Caution. I tell her I think that caution is more important than safety. Caution. Interesting. And you didn't even have to think. Perfect. Lahore, please her throat. When I first left my home and was bound for the sand, I knew not uh, I knew not what I'd find as I walked this great land. But I knew that in going I'd risk soul and skin, so I wore it so I wore caution out and lit fire within. New rhyme scheme there, I like it. Lahore nods. Versatility. You've been so helpful, Sable. Thank you. The last question is probably an easy one for you. Still in your gliding. Why do we explore? What drives us? Are we seeking our purpose? Or are we indulging in our freedom? To be fair to Lahore, this one gives me pause. It's danced around my thoughts now and again, but not in so many words. I wonder, is it my purpose as a glider to see all places? Or is it to find my place? I think on it and offer an answer. The purpose of such exploration is... To find your purpose. I tell Lahore that the, perp the point is to find our purpose. Fascinating. We are such strange creatures. She breathes in. In all of us there is a flower. The answer to our need. But we can't wait, so we contemplate the mystery of the seed. The hall pauses after this last. I hear the wind blow past, and then suddenly, she claps. Well, that settles it. I think I've made up my mind. But I'll need another night or so to think on it. I ask the hall if she's going back to Ekri or not, and she laughs. I find myself liking her laugh quite a lot. I'll find out tomorrow. Thank you, Sable, for listening. You've been a very generous collaborator today, and I feel quite refreshed. Take this badge, a token of your contribution. She sits up straight. A gliding named Sable, the fabulous Lahore, shared something today on the sands. I put faith in her judgement, all trust in her brain, and my fate in her capable hands. Lahore bows, and I must admit, I feel quite nice having heard that. Thank you, Sable. I know we'll meet again. I wish Lahore the best and tell her goodbye. I don't know if I helped, but I gave it a try. Oh no, she's got me doing it. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Nothing around the back? No. Well, let's just say that this place is uh, kind of easy to miss if you're not looking for it. Hmm. Is there another one? Back to Ekria. Get the mask. And then we can craft. Oh no, wait. No, just. I just need to, to visit the priest. I don't need to do anything fancy. Then I'll craft the mask. Hopefully, get a few cheaper pops. And then we go back to the Abexi village. Complete our gliding. It's gonna be great. Up 
this way, I think. what you said to a bladder, but we are grateful that you said it. The whore has returned with a renewed passion, and we credit you. So thank you, Glider, and be safe. Farewell, Glider. Cool. Okay, uh, where's the quickest place I can do this? Can I do it here? Probably not. Okay, let's go back to here. Here. Gotta say your streams are super chill. I like that. You're a good dude. Oh, thank you, Gray. I like to keep it super chilled. No, not really. I feel like some people, they they put the tag in their um stream chilled or chill out stream in, in the title. And it's anything but. But, um... With myself, I try not to be anything that I'm not, because the veneer will wear very thin after a short time. Random sound effect then. Time for the last mask. All right. Aha! Oh, look at my little. This shit's bizarre, but it's pretty cool. Just got fisted. Oh, look at the ears going crazy. Nice. Definitely the best mask. Entertainer's mask. Achievement unlocked at the Entertainer's mask. Okay. So that's that. From the Entertainer's mask. What? Wow. It's a sock puppet. A somewhat ridiculous looking mask, but I guess that's the point. I feel a levity looking at it. Wearing it in almost any situation makes the world feel a little warmer. Yes, but. Alright, then you got the bug one. Hercules, Hercules. That looks cool, yeah? Come on. There you go. Oh shit, Mr. Bagoo. What up, dude? Let me give you a cheer. Ugh. There we go, Mr. Magoo. Oh, come on. Okay, connecting to chat, come on. Connecting to chat, let's go, let's go. Taking ages. Done. That one is... Hmm... Arabic? No, not Arabic. Hmm... I think it's... Uh, Cambodia? No, I, I, I can't... I can't recall what that one is. I should probably research that. But anyway, Mr. Magoo, cheers. Cheers to you. I think we're done here. Well, at least I'm done here. We have one mission left. It's time to end the gliding. Hmm. Let's just go straight there. 
We'll replace the mask with the Ibexy one. There we go. We're all decked out in the Ibexy stuff. It's time. Wait. Um, what's the name? Saima. Saima is around here somewhere, I think. Wasn't that her cave? No? There should be... Should be someone around here. One of the workers. Hmm, no. Wait, this is the guy that, um... Driz? Yeah. Oh, Driz is not here. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Okay. There's the kid, Saima. Where is she? There. In here, right? This is her little cave. As the Ibex camp draws closer, the imagined threshold between home and gliding is palpable. It reminds me of coming home from a sandstorm. So fierce that the grains have whipped through the air and through your clothes. You peel off the layers of sand beaten fabric and marvel at the dust on your skin. The bits that manage to get through despite every precaution. And though you feel so grateful to be home and so comforted by the safety of the indoors, you can't help but smile. Nostalgic as you wash the sand away. What an adventure you had, and it was only for you. Am I ready to choose my mask now? There's no going back if I do. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. But am I really ready? Maybe not yet. I think if I'm going to do this, I want to be very sure. And right now, I'm not. I'll wait. Please don't end the game there. Okay, good. I want to visit people. I'd... Okay, if I go through there, it's... Uh, okay. <laughs> Lodgy is never ready. In Yes, Hasio, that was, that was a good... That was a sick burn. That was a sick burn. Here we go. Frost. You got the frost. Not the prostitute. You got the frost. I want to see Jaddy. Okay, it's... Okay. I'm ready. I think I'm ready, but am I really ready? I'm definitely ready. Daima. Hey. I blow a kiss to them? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> There's Saima. There's the machine of Sizzle as well. That's yep. <laughs> there we go. Is that gonna be it? I should speak with Jaddy when I'm ready for the homecoming. Okay, well let's speak to everyone first. Ilaria, hey Sable. It's strange how children change so much over a short period. Ilaria has grown, but she'll always be a child to me. You've grown. Laria subconsciously stands a little tall and prouder as I say the words. I can't help but smile, remembering all the times adults would say, Oh, how you've grown to me as a child. 
Hope your legs are feeling better. Oh, yes, they are. Yeah, they definitely are. Surprise Banjo isn't here. Um, he may or may not be here. I think he's either lurking or he's sleeping. It is quite late. Yeah. Well, you've not grown at all. I haven't just grown. I can climb way higher now. Zeki hates it. It's great. You'll get this soon enough. Hilaria seems unimpressed. Saima will leave for her gliding soon, but at least you'll be back now. I don't have the heart to tell her that I might not stay with the Avexi. There's still time to decide, so I hold back. I get a lot of climbing out there. Oh! How high did you go? Did you touch a cloud? If I had a gliding stone, I would definitely touch a cloud. I reveal that I got the climbing mask. Hilaria seems to vibrate with the excitement and jealousy. I can't believe it. You have to choose it. You will choose it, right? I mean, why wouldn't you? That would just be silly. Don't think I'll get a, a word in here, so I just let Ilaria effusively speak at me for a while. Enjoying her passion for something so particular. Being a climber is a pretty solitary existence for the most part. Mostly foraging for things that grow in the higher times. Climbs. Uh, fixing or sal uh, sa uh, fixing or salvaging from ships in high places. How have you been liking this lo uh, logi? It looks awesome. Um, it's just long enough. And it has some weird side missions that if you want to explore them, you can kind of string it out a bit. Um, been looking for 5-6 hours? Nice. Cool. Because no Traz, right? <laughs> I, I get it, it's fine. By the way, get well soon, Traz. Um, but no, no. Um, this game is, um, I think, of an appropriate length. Very calm game. Some games you just want to, you know, sit back and just kind of zone out. You can do that with this game. And it is quite pretty. It does have a lot of glitches, though. And I think that, for example, this text box here... That, to me, feels a bit out of place, a bit unpolished. But this game does have a charm to it. Yeah. I, I would say that um, I love it. I did very much like it. I, I enjoyed the experience. And I think even though this might be a once-only once play, I might, if the game allows me, hop back into the save game and just, like, you know get on the bike and just explore the different places that'd be nice and chill like my happy place but the sights you see the places you get to go it'll be like a continual gliding at times will i be comfortable with those heights without the gliding stone speak to someone else all right so that's ilaria we didn't really have much relationship with ilaria <laughs> all right rude words okay allow even a C needs a break from Rude now then, yes. Oh, and there's lots of Rude going on in Traz's chat. By the way, um, with the auto mod, it's it's just going to catch every swear word, even at the lowest setting. So, I do that mainly to catch people with the, the beautiful assy dick art and uh, the like. So, uh, don't be too offended. It's not too, um, not too squeaky clean. But, um... Sizzo. How do you do, clan child? Talk about Simoon. How is your companion? Love open world gameplay. It definitely leaves some. Um, yeah, like. I just I just hope that it doesn't lock me out of my save state. Because there's still like the chum eggs. I could still go for chum eggs if I wanted to. There's like 165 in the game. I've got a hundred. I'm happy to leave the rest. Even though, if I get the others, I will very likely unlock the chum clothing. So imagine that. I could choose the chum mask. Oh, I could choose the chum mask. Oh no. I think we're choosing the, the, the chum mask. I think that's what we're going to do. How is your companion? Um, I would have been lonely without Simoon. Of course. The desert can be a desolate and sparse place. Travelling with a partner is the only way to keep the mind at peace. 
What will happen to Samu now? I will break it down to parts and scrap metal. Well, it's almost time for Simon's gliding. Samoon will likely accompany her across the dunes. I feel a pang of melancholy as I think about losing Samoon. Had to happen one day. No one truly owns a bike in the Abexi. But it merely but is merely accompanied by one. I am grateful to have at least had that blessing. I met a lot of your machinist friends. I tell Sizzle I met a lot of her friends on the travels. I know this, and I hope they were good to you and to Simoon. I tell her they were, and she seems to take a bit of pride in that, which is rare to see in Sizzle. Some really great machinists out there. I like them a lot. Do you think I should choose the machinist mask? I ask if Sizzle thinks I ought to choose the machinist mask that I might join her order. She crosses her arms and takes time to think. Some will tell you that the life of a machinist is lonely. It isn't. And only because we are assigned to clans, and not only because we are assigned to clans, who so often welcome us into their numbers. No. It's... it's more. It's because we are never truly alone. As you were never truly alone on your gliding, you went with Samoon. I think of the moments when I sat looking at some map, or hiding from some foul weather, or trying to get over a sudden bout of very powerful homesickness. And Samoon gave me a little hum that I could feel right up through my legs. Vibrator. You have a very special vibrator disciple. I nod along with Sizo. As you returned, I sat on the tower and heard Samoon's purr. Hello, kitten. Grow into a roar, and in it the traces of those whose work had helped give her shape. I forgot to read that. Sizo seems seems to shiver. Sizo seems to shiver. Sizo seems to shiver. Okay, it's why we do what we do. It can if it is not like Breath of the Wild. Open world doesn't help much when it's still a fairly linear game. Yeah, that's true. I felt like with this, there was a lot of fetch missions, and it's like, okay, I did want more out of this game. I definitely wanted more backstory about why we're all here, and there just didn't seem to be a huge purpose behind this game. Like, this mission here, the gliding, it does almost feel like it's over too um, quickly, because... We like, what is the point of this game? Oh, it's to wander and find yourself. It's a bit, eh. So if that appeals, then I can only recommend it. I thank Sizo for her counsel. Alright, so that's Sizo. Saima. So he came back. Saima crosses her arms. A challenge. I tell Saima I had to come back, because when I left, some minuscule little beetle hunting heart stealing menace through a fit about it and I couldn't stop crying because she misses me so much. Get fucking wrecked, kid. Uh, I'm a Zelda fan, so yeah. I do need to play the Zeldas. I mean, I've only completed A Link to the Past. I'm such a scrub. 